Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from ECF Farms and also Vape TV Live, baby. I'm here today because we're here going to talk about Anno Makini, Anno Makini, Anno Makini. That man is fucking brilliant, I tell you, man. I wish he lived here in New York. I'll give him a freaking wild well, kiss and a real big bear hug. That's for sure. But I've been meaning to review this 69 steam machine that he did. Um, this is out of this world, this PV. For a couple of reasons. One, it's light. Very, very, very light. Second, it's affordable. Very affordable. It's only 138 euros. That's right, 138 euros. I'll put the link in the description to show you on the website that he has. Um, Katarina is the one that handles the sales over there. And she is such a doll. She is such a beautiful, beautiful woman. Mm, if only she was single. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. But... I just wanted to go over this particular PV mod, okay? Now, the one I have, um, I have it, I bought it with the brass um, kit, uh, the brass kit uh, for the 69 brass set, that was only 50 euros, that's it, um, which wasn't really that much, um, but I do have the pieces for the stainless steel, and um, I'm going to go over some of the features um, of this mod and the changes from from the previous mod that he actually had um, so let me bring down the cam so I can show you okay so now here we have the PV mod okay the 69 mod from Anno Makani, okay who brought us the nemesis okay that's for sure if you guys are not sure who I'm talking about that's right the man himself that brought us the nemesis which is also a great PV but we're gonna be talking about the 69 okay now the 69 is telescopic okay and the threads are beautiful I mean totally totally beautiful you can screw this all the way down but 18350 in this case just to show you I'm going to put an 18490 in. And it's as simple as. I think I screwed it down a little too much. Yep. Okay. So now it's an 18490 mode. Very small device. Very, very, very small device. That's for sure. Um, I can also use smaller battery configuration. One of these. And I would bring the telescope all the way down. And you can use a kick if you wish and there we go very very small very elegant very exquisite look that's for sure and there is really no rattling whatsoever which is beautiful The, the other beauty of this device is, is that the contacts, let's look at, that's what made Nemesis so popular um, because of the silver contacts, but these are brass silver plated contacts, okay, that's what's being used here, and they're very, very adjustable by here, okay, so it's just a matter of first putting your atomizer here, Okay, your cardamizer, dripping atomizer, or rebuildable Addy or Jenny right on here. And then this is very easily, you can fasten and unfasten this, this part. Make sure it's snugged. Once it's snugged, then provide some room on the telescopic end, like so. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to take Ithaca. Okay. I'm going to take Ithaca and let me get my Ithaca 510 base. I'm 
make sure my 510 is sticking out. That's what I was just doing. And I screw it in. See? It's screwed in. Okay? Very, very simple. Put my 18490 in. But as you can see, I need some room. So I simply unfasten it a little. Okay? Now, this hits really, really, really good. Oh, dear. Really good. And it looks like this. Very nice. Very, very, very nice of a device. And very small and elegant. Mm. And as you can see, it hits beautifully. Um, however, the... Ah, okay. However... The, the other good option about this is I can remove the switch. Yes, the switch. I can change the location of the switch. Um, instead of using my pinky on the bottom here, I can also move that to the top. Like so. I would unscrew. Well, first let me move battery out. I will unscrew. And as you can see from the switch, it's also silver plated brass contacts. Okay? Very, very, very beautiful. And it hits extremely, extremely well. Okay? As you can see. Then I'll show you how to take this apart in a second. But first, let's put this up top. So, let's remove this part, like so, put battery, make sure it's tight, this however, you put it in, like so, and this is how it looks. It works beautifully. So it's very customizable, okay? You can have the switch on top, or you can have the switch on the bottom, either or, okay? Very, very beautiful device, okay? And very light, very, very, very light. Absolutely light. Mm. Now, let's look at the switch. He did change uh, a couple of things. He did change the, the switch compartment a little bit. If you can notice, you see... He made it a little bit smaller in height versus the previous 6.9, which was a little bit higher. It has a very short, short throw. Very, very short and smooth. It, it doesn't feel like it's hard to push. It, it's very, very extremely smooth. Okay? Now, the, the other thing to keep in mind is the air control. The air con There is air control on this cap. Okay? And... There is two holes. See if you can see that. There is two holes here. See if the camera will adjust. There we go. Okay. So there is two holes. One, two, and right alongside in the ring, there's another two incisions. Okay, so you would just easily slide this. Okay, so if you don't want much air control, you go all the way over here. That will seal it. You will go, continue going clockwise. So, there we go. So, you can line up the holes right by the two dots. There you go. So, you get full air control. Okay. 
That's the other thing. And this is so much easier to clean because now I can just do this with my nail. Lift up this cap, okay, because this cap is liftable. Instead of... There we go. See? It's coming out. Okay. There we go. And there is an O-ring that separates it. Okay. So, that's how you control the airflow. However, the, um, the contacts are in there. And this is so easy to clean, which I like, because I just use toothpaste and toothbrush on this, and it, it comes out shining. And then I use some um, metal polishing from uh, Mother's, and from an, I get that from an auto parts store. And I just use it with a fine micro towel, and that's it. It comes out shining beautifully, as you can see, like mirror, mirror finish, as it is right now. Look at that. Totally, totally mirror finish. Okay? And it's a beautiful, beautiful mod. Very easy to set up. Uh, to clean the switch, very easy to do. Extremely easy to do. Um, let me show you. This is the compartment of the switch. See that? Now, in here, you have a flathead silver plated uh, screw with a spring, okay, and an O ring, okay. So, this is quite simple, quite simple to remove and quite simple to set up. To remove it, you will need to remove that pin first, and everything will slide out. Um, I just finished cleaning this out, so, and I already greased it, so I really don't want to get all my grease in my hands right now, but I already just finished cleaning it. I'll probably do another video if viewers are really interested in how to clean the switch. I'll be more than happy to do a video on that, um, but I wanted to keep this video a little bit short and sweet, um, and just to give you a heads up, this is my preferable mode, which is having the switch in the bottom. Uh, than the top, but it does work also on the top. I just prefer it on the bottom. So it's just a matter of switching a cap. Like so. And there is also a safety feature. So it protects you in case you don't know if you're firing the device. It avoids complications, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so right now it's on. As you can see. Now, this switch right here, what you do is you turn it clockwise. See? Nothing. Okay? So, the easiest way of doing that is, when you're looking at the numbers from 69, okay, if you want to face them up vertically, it could be north or south, like so, 69. Now it'll work. and it works okay so that's a quick and simple way of ensuring that the safety is on on the device okay so it'll prevent from accidental fires that's for sure but as I said it is compatible it is telescopic you can put an 18650 in here And this is more of an advanced user device due to the fine-tuning that you can do onto this device. So I would just keep releasing the telescope. Like so. There we 
you go. That's how it looks. This is Eno Makini, baby. Forget about it. Beautiful, beautiful device. Very, very elegant. Beautiful how the shine is with the brass. Look at that. Looks like gold, I tell you. Just like gold. Very elegant. So, here we are. Anomachines. One of the finest creations right next to Nemesis is a 69 mod. Oh. It hits so good, and it's so light. I mean, it doesn't rattle. There's no rattling. Um, it's really sturdy. It's really nice. And it's a very, very high-end quality device. And very affordable. Very affordable. It's only 138 euros. Mm. And on Ithaca, it's... A work of art. It works beautifully. It matches beautifully. Look at that. Really, really, really elegant. Absolutely. Mm. You can, um, I'm going to leave the link in the description as far as where you can obtain these or if you're interested. Um, Katrina is the one that's handling the sales, but she is a doll. So if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to ask her. She's more than willing to help. She goes out of her way to help everybody out on the ECF forums as well. You can also find her there um, under Anomakini's um, modding. And, mm. Oh, so I'm going to keep this video nice and short. So people, I'm going to let you guys go. And yes... My hand is feeling better. It's getting better. But before I go, there's something I got to tell you. Rob from Fluid Vapor, yes, he is doing his Saturday meetup this Saturday up in New York. So um, anyone that is around in the New York area that wants to come in, by all means, it's going to be one hell of a vape meet. He has a home theater system over there. Forget about it, you know. Nice, nice tables and stuff, so bring your RBAs, or you'll have some plenty of RBAs, that's for sure. As for me, if I'm going to attend, I'm trying, to, I'm going to try to make it. Um, it all depends how my hand is feeling, but, um, and being that I'm diabetic, my, my sugar goes up and down, up and down, so it really all depends. But so far, I'm looking, I'm going to do my best to be there, um, and I'm going to be there from, hopefully, from the afternoon on for a few hours but um hopefully I, i'll get to see some of you guys if i'm able to make it out I'll, I'll let rob know by thursday and friday how i'm feeling um and you know he can touch bases with you guys but with that i'm gonna let you guys go live hard baby and fate hard forget about it